Hello YouTube and welcome to Hidden Hacks. Today we are going to connect a bunch of LED bulbs to an Arduino board and hook up a sound sensor module and a 16x2 LCD module to it as well. We will use the sound sensor module as an input device to get the data that will be used to activate the LED bulbs once the value reach a certain threshold and the 16x2 LCD module to display the sound sensor values because why not? We will also edit the code to make the LEDs dance or something like that. Let's go! So, here are the things that we need. A breadboard, an Arduino Uno board, male to male jumper cables, male to female jumper cables, a 16x2 LCD module with an I2C backpack, a sound sensor module, two yellow LED bulbs, four green, two red, four whites, and four blues. One hundred ohm resistors for the white and blue LEDs. Two twenty ohm resistors for the yellow and red LEDs, and a bunch of three thirty ohm resistors for the green LEDs. A pair of tweezers, and last but not the least, a flathead screwdriver to adjust the sound sensor potentiometer. First up, let's connect the yellow, green, and red LEDs to the breadboard. Just like this. Get 4 pieces of 220 ohm resistors for the red and yellow LEDs and bend the legs or leads just like this. Connect the resistors to the breadboard. Get 4 pieces of 330 ohm resistors for the green LEDs and also bend the legs. Just like what we did earlier, connect the resistors to the breadboard. Just like this. After connecting the LEDs and resistors, it's time to add the male to male jumper cables. We will connect them to the cathode or negative or shorter leg side of the LED bulbs beside the resistors and connect the other end of the jumper cables to the ground rail of the breadboard. Just like this. Now it's time to hook up the LCD and sound sensor modules. Let's connect the LCD module first. Here's a visual wiring diagram if you want to look at it. It's also available for download together with the project file in the description below. Let's get the male to female jumper cables. Connect the LCD ground to the Arduino ground. VCC to the Arduino 5 volts. SDA to Arduino A4. And SEL to Arduino A5. Now, get a total of 8 male to female jumper cables and connect 2 of them together to make 4 pieces. This is to make the cable longer so that we can place the sound sensor near the sound source. After that, let's connect the module to the Arduino. First, connect the A0 from the sensor to the Arduino A0. Then, G from the sensor to the breadboard ground rail. Positive pin from the sensor to Arduino digital pin 1 and D0 from the sensor to Arduino Digital Pin 2. After connecting the necessary modules to the Arduino board, let's get some male-to-male -male jumper cables and connect them to the anode or positive or longer leg side of the LEDs. Then, connect the cables from the breadboard to the Arduino. So, LED1 will go to Arduino Digital Pin 3, LED2 to Pin 4, LED3 to Pin 5, LED 4 to pin 6, LED 5 to pin 7, LED 6 to pin 8, LED 7 to pin 9, and LED 8 to pin 10. So now that all of the things necessary are connected, let's open up our code and calibrate the sound sensor module by adjusting or turning the potentiometer to the left or to the right. Now 
you can see here that as we adjust the potentiometer, the sound sensor value also changes. So we need to find a sweet spot. Let's try changing what happens to the LEDs when the sensor value reaches a certain threshold. Okay, let's open up an audio track. I will be using FL Studio and use my own beats. Let's try... Funky. I think I better change it back. When we are contented with the calibration results, let's test it again using different types of tracks that will produce different kinds of waveforms or sound levels. Alright then, enough of that sensor effect, it's time to make the LEDs dance. But first, let's remove the current things that are connected to the breadboard. Now, connect the blue and white LEDs. The arrangement, color, and number of LEDs depends on your preference. Prepare the 100 ohm resistors and bend them like what we did with the resistors before. Connect the resistors to the breadboard. Connect them to the breadboard ground rail then to the Arduino. So after playing with the code a little bit by changing the values here and there, it's time for some light show. Enjoy!
Thanks for watching and see you again next week.